morning friends, John Hamill here for another morning melody. And this one is from my favorite hymn writer, Fanny Crosby. And you know, it was hard to discourage Fanny Crosby. Joy was a characteristic of her life. Uh, when the English hymn writer Frances Havergill asked someone about Fanny Crosby, uh, she received this for an answer. She is a blind lady whose heart can see splendidly in the sunshine of God's love. Fanny Crosby acknowledged herself that darkness may throw a shadow over my outer vision, but there is no cloud that can keep the sunlight of hope from a trustful soul. Uh, this song was probably written in the late 1800s, taken to England by Ira Sankey, who was D.L. Moody's song leader. And then later on, it was introduced to the Billy Graham team, and it became Billy Graham's theme song for the British Crusade. And it's called, To God Be the Glory. He hath taught us great things he hath done, and great our rejoicing through Jesus the Son. But purer and higher and greater will be our wonder, our transport when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he hath done. Great things God has done. This was our theme song at Grace Baptist Church for a long time, and why don't you make it your theme song to praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice, great things he hath done. Lord willing, we'll see you again tomorrow for another Morning Melodies. Have a great day.